All right, welcome to another episode of the Middle Age Metalhead. Uh, it's been three months since my last upload in complete radio silence after that. So um, here I am again, back for what it's worth, to a, a review that I should have done uh, a while back, really. But it's also meant that I've sat with the album for uh, quite a while now, and the songs have kind of really uh, seeped into my brain, if you will. And so today we're going to be talking about the R and Joy Trio and their debut album, uh, originally released back in 2019, but uh, reissued for the first time on uh, vinyl by Free School Street Records. Uh, and this happened, I think, like a couple of months ago. Now, R and Joy Trio uh, from the city of Joy, Kolkata. And they first came to prominence around 2018, I think, with the Mahendra Blues Festival. And since then, 2019, they recorded their debut album. And that is what we have here today. Now, these guys play mostly uh, traditional blues. Um, you could even call it uh, Chicago-style blues. Uh, I enjoy the lead guitarist and vocalist. Uh, has a lot of buddy guy in his playing. You've also got uh, Akash Ganguly on bass and Sonak Roy on drums who do a terrific job holding up the rhythm section. And especially when uh, Arun Joy takes off on one of his solos, these guys really, really lock it down. And they're always playing interesting groups, right? It's not just your standard uh, blues group that, that's happening at the back. These guys uh, really, really do a good job. Now. Well, most of the album is blues and it's a short album. There are a couple of bonus songs, uh, bonus live tracks packed on at the end. So my favorite song here is uh, this track called Who You Are, which is a lot more blues rock in its um, inclinations. The main riff is just this driving uh, Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top-esque uh, thing that is really, really catchy. But then during the verse, you've got this very funky guitar playing happening and the rhythm section changes tone as well. And then you've got this quiet, melodic, uh, soft, contemplative bridge just before Aranjoy takes off on the solo. And uh, overall, one of the, I'd say one of the more memorable uh, Indian uh, rock songs or Indian blues songs I've heard in a long, long while. Uh, maybe since uh, Soulmate, right? And uh, yeah, just a really, really good um, song and a really good album. Now, another thing that I'd like to talk about, apart from the music itself, is the master on this uh, piece of wax. The mastering is phenomenal. I mean, I was talking to one of the guys from the record label, and they managed to achieve a dynamic range of 16 of this. Considering that they were uh, not really working from the source, but from the already mixed um, version, that is a phenomenal achievement. And it shows, you can hear it. It sounds like these three guys are playing in your room specifically for you. Right? I have, uh, yeah, this is just a really, really good sounding record. And Another thing that I really like is the effort that's gone into putting together this package. Oil lined inner sleeves to start with, right? And that's something that not a lot of uh, labels in the West are doing anymore. Sometimes you just get really shitty um, black paper sleeves from big labels or way bigger labels than these guys. Then you've got the custom labels. Should look quite cool. And you've also got a four page um, booklet, if you will. And not CD size, but proper full size. So you've got band photo, you've got liner notes and lyrics, you've got a collage at the back, and just overall a really nice package. And this, I think, goes to show the kind of passion that is at play with this uh, particular label. Right next up, they've got um, uh, Industry's uh, last album, at least uh, 
at the current time evolve and that's coming out probably early next year and on vinyl and that is um, something I'm really really looking forward to right and this is a label that really deserves your support. I'm going to link to their YouTube channel um, in the description. Go check them out. This is, I think, their third overall release. And the LP itself is available on Revolver Club. And um, I think they ship worldwide. But uh, yeah, just I will leave a, a link to uh, the Revolver Club store and a link to the LP in the descriptions as well. Go check them out. They're another distro, hi fi solutions, uh, all sorts, of, almost like a vinyl community now in India. And uh, that's another thing that deserves support, which we'll talk about later or on another video. But uh, yeah, this is the R Enjoy Trio, a really, really solid blues band from India. And they deserve to be heard. Go check them out, buy the LP. This is a one and done deal. So once the last few copies sell out, uh, that's it. It's never going to be reissued. And go and support Free School Street Records as well. They're a label that really, really deserves your support. And uh, yeah, the more support they get, the more uh, of these great releases they're going to put out. Hopefully, you know, uh, more uh, classic Indian rock and metal bands and uh, who knows maybe some more new indian uh, rock bands as well so yeah that's it from me for today the r enjoy trio go check them out and uh yeah have a good one stay safe uh, if you like what you see subscribe and uh, leave a comment below and yeah